However, I think the algo definitely got very, very mad about what I was, uh, about the last stream. Just too many hit words over there and I couldn't reconnect. So, because I was already streaming, this was actually my original stream that I wanted to do. I wanted to show you guys what is inside of this jewelry box. I hope Jim is inside of the stream. Jim, are you here? I think Jim's here. Hey, Kelly. Jim, are you here? Are you in the stream? I really should have messaged Jim before. <laughs> I am here and presumably three others. Okay, yay, my count's going up. Yeah, I don't know how this notification thing goes. I have absolutely no how idea. Usually how it goes is I think that when I do a stream, if I have this like waiting period, then maybe you guys get notification. But at least for me, whenever I do this stuff, I don't get notification on my phone or um, on my computer unless I actually do a stream. So yeah, let me see. Jim, are you here? Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, let me move this forward. Ah. Okay, hold on. Let me message you. I really should have done this earlier. My bad. I skipped steps. I was too in a rush to start the stream that I forgot to message you. Discord. And yeah, I know he was in my previous stream, but I don't think he saw my current message because I don't know what time. What does anyone know what time it is in Australia right now? You want an Oreo? Okay, hold on. Let me go grab that cat. No free Oreo streams, please. Ah, uh, let me see. Can I find the cat here? So while we have this momentary, um, momentary delay, a short interruption. Oh, wait a second. Oreo is sleeping. 12.05 PM. Okay. Good. At least it's not AM. I was kind of worried about that.
just these over here. Come on, birthday. She's not an Oreo, though. That's the only downside. So because she's not an Oreo, she does not stay in places very long. Versus Oreo will stay in a place for a very, 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 very long time. Oreo has to take a break from his streaming. Um, period. So let's see. So I guess Jim is not here. And if Jim is not here, I don't really want to do the stream. I know, I know, I should have done the stream earlier. Whoops, my bad. I got a little sidetracked. Just a little. Oh, he showed up? Oh, Jim is here! Okay, Blackberry. I think you are on stream for not too long. If Oreo takes a break, oh, Jim. Oh, yeah. I don't want to. If you if you are driving somewhere, like I don't want to stop you from getting to your destination. My bad. <laughs> Because this might be like a 30 minute stream, so I don't want you to, um, how would I say it, like have to sit in the car if you have to get to a destination. Like, I'd rather have you get to the destination first rather than me holding you up because, yeah, I didn't realize you were driving. So for this box, in case you guys weren't um, made aware for it. Okay, okay. So for this box, in case you guys were not made aware of it, oh, dang this cord, this this thing does not last very long. So as a result, I need to um, I need to walk over this freaking cord. Ah, oh, and I still need to hang up my wreath. Yeah, I never got around to it. I was just like, oh, I gotta want to do this right now. Okay. So here we go. Oh, and we got an influencer here. A quiet influencer. I guess he knew he didn't get any sponsorship. So anyway, so Jim sent this over from Australia. And this was um, his grandmother's and his mom's jewelry. And it's um, he didn't have this thing locked. So when I did my unboxing stream last time, what happened was is that I was trying to open this thing up. And I was like, Arrgh! and I was trying to fiddle faddle with it. And I realized in between New York and Australia, it must have tumbled. A whole bunch of times and because it tumbled so many times I think I did open the last paper bag yeah I think I did because I have all those I took out oh wait 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 yeah I think I did open all the um, paper bags unless there was something that I missed but when I double checked it I think I opened through everything Yeah, I think I opened through everything. Yeah, so, but I definitely have it here, but I definitely know that I opened through everything. Um, actually, let's see. Yeah, I think I already opened through this. Okay, maybe this was the one that I didn't open through, but I opened it off screen. So I think I showed you guys this one. I'm not too sure. It was... Oh, I think I did show this. See, after a while, like the paper bags got mixed up because I was like, okay, let me organize it. So this is a pearl necklace. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I did show this one. Yeah, because I remember showing this. Ah! No, Clinton. No. He's like looking at this. Okay. I got to like work on my, my stage here. Okay. 
Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I did show this off. So we got this over here. We got... Or maybe not. Yeah, I think I did. I definitely brought all the bags home, but I might have mixed them up. But I think this was the bag. Yeah, because this one I definitely opened up. I'm looking at the other bags. I definitely did open up everything else. was in here, right? Or maybe, oh. And then we have, yeah, so I already showed this. I'm pretty sure I already showed this one on stream. So let's move forward. Because everyone's going to be like, what? Didn't you show that last time on stream? I did. Okay. Let me do this one by one. I need to actually put this in a, a real um, case. So there was also this, I don't think I showed this on stream, but it's a, I want to say it's a sand dollar, but I don't really know what this is. It kind of looks like a sand dollar, doesn't it? Do you know who this was? It looks like a, I am, I don't know who that is. I am. It kind of looks like a sand dollar to me. I don't, it, it looks, it reminds me of like, Either that or the the upside down view of a mushroom. You know when you remove the stem. You know how like a like a portobello mushroom or something. You know how it kind of looks like that. Like that's what it looks like to me. Jim, do you know what this is? Cause I th I thought it was a sand dollar or a a mushroom. <laughs> but I'm leaning on sand dollar because most likely it is a sand dollar. Yeah, I had um mushrooms today, so that's why I'm kind of thinking about the mushroom. And then whoever made it, I guess their initial is, it's not 1M, it has to be IM, right? That looks like an I? No, oh, wait, 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 is that an arrow going downwards? Oh, I don't know. It's like some kind of logo. Jam? No, that's not jam. I don't know. Okay, so now we are caught up on everything. We're gonna open this up. So this was opened up courtesy of the pink toolkit that JP sent over. If you guys remember that. Yeah, that was like a little screwdriver. And the way this thing opened, I swear I'm not gonna close it on stream here. Um, this thing, it was stuck in here. So it latches and all I did was I just put a screwdriver in here and then like I think pushed down somewhere and then it released. Yeah, this took me about 10 minutes to do. So here we go. Here is more stuff and we will look through it. One by one. So there is a creepy looking or scary looking brooch. This looks like it's some brooches over here. Let's save this later. I want to see the non-creepy stuff first. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Jim. Oh wait, that they're more stuff. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do the we're gonna we're gonna look through the luck of the draw and let's see which one it is, because I think this is like the brooch section. So this is, oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? That's a phoenix. And I think this is a locket. Let me see. Is that? Wait a second. Yeah. There's a clippy thing here. But I don't know what the clippy thing does. Okay. 
I'm going to need some help, Jim. What does, well, how do you open this? Do you push it down? It's a tape measure? <laughs> it's a tape measure, you guys. Oh my goodness. I had absolutely no idea. I thought it was a pendant. And then next thing I know, it's like a tape measure. Like, look at this. Jeez. Yeah, I was just like, whoa. Okay, so if you look at it, it goes, it tells you the inches and it actually says meters. See that? So you can, if you are a um, handy man or handy woman, you can actually keep this on your neck. And then if you, if measurement calls for you, you can go. <laughs> uh, this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm so used to seeing like the big Stanley ones. You know, what I'm talking about the plastic ones, the, the silver, um, silver, tiny ones, yellow plastic ones, Harbor Freight ones, Freight ones. I've never, ever seen this in my life. So that is the fanciest measuring tape. Yeah, it's the fanciest measuring tape I've ever seen. Can you imagine if Jim wasn't in stream? I would have been like, how do I open this thing? And I, that's why I was like behind. That's why I was like behind the camera. I was trying to open this thing thinking like, I don't want to look like an idiot opening this thing. And then I have to ask Jim for help. I'm like, Jim, I, I, need, a, I need a hint over here how to open this thing. So now I know this has to be the fanciest measuring tape I've ever seen in my life. And... Um, CL agrees with me. Do they even make things like this anymore? Wow, look at that. Um, Parde Bonzo says, in ninth grade shop, our teacher told us to never lend out our measuring tape. Would you loan out your wife? Uh, your teacher was very serious about the measuring tape. You know, one thing you could do is you could just write your, your last name or your first name on your measuring tape and nobody would ever take it out. So, yeah, this is this is definitely... I'm so not used to seeing measuring tapes without a big brand name on it. So this was definitely something that I have never, ever seen in my life before. I'm happy that I could share it with you guys, too. And this is some sort of... Okay, that looks like Mozart, but I'm not too sure. Do you guys know who this is? I'm not good with my uh, classical people. Kind of looks like Mozart, right? Kind of looks like it. But then again, my my understanding of a lot of these people are very, very limited. I guess it's, but wait, is it, wait a second. Are those, that's not Medusa's. I don't know. It looks like it's a snake on the head. But uh, it's, it's kind of creepy. It's a little unnerving. It's a little too detail oriented. I feel like, I feel like it's looking into my soul. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody, if you if, if something happens to you and you turn into stone, this is the reason why you're looking direct. Just wait, I'm going to get downloaded because of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is um person's head on two snakes, possibly, or a tree. That looks a little unnerving. Just a little. And it's, it's 3D too, so you can definitely see that side profile and the hair looking at you. Yeah, um, let's just, let's just, I don't know, maybe we'll fix it the other way. <laughs> Actually, I should have the face look at you guys. Yeah, that, that is, um, that is a little creepy, just a little. Um, okay, let's, let's move on to something a little bit more gamer, which is NZ. I don't know what these signs mean. I guess these are initials to something or some organization or someone. Or it could be the fictitious, uh country of New Zealand. Maybe this is a memento because someone was saying New Zealand is fake, right? And then we got another button. But it's a pin. Isn't that strange? Like, I'm so used to seeing this as a button that when I see it as a pin, I'm like, wait a second. And then we have... Whoa. This looks, this looks like something that would just... You know, did you guys ever watch Game of Thrones? You know when uh, Melisandre has that red necklace on her neck, the one that keeps her youthful? This is kind of what it reminds me of. You know that 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 red jewel that kind of looks at you? Like if you take it off, you're going to become a very, 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 very old lady. Kind of reminds me of that. Steve. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Yeah, I guess I'm not very... Okay, so wait. My stream is up? What do you mean my stream is up? Okay, look on the back of it. It has a silver mark. Oh! Yeah, it does. It says Gold Crest 376. What does 376 mean? Do you guys know? Oh, you mean this stream is currently up? Let me check. Oh, it's a stereo number. Ah! Oh my goodness! I knocked this thing over. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Hold on, I need to make the base bigger. Come on. There you go. One moment. I gotta check on Cleo. Fragrance ship. Ah! Gotta move this stuff. Okay, so today I definitely have to put up the wreath. Or tomorrow. By the way, you know my pom poms that I had a whole bunch of? Yeah, I posted it online today, and someone is going to either people are going to take a few of them, or someone's going to take the whole box, and I'm really excited about it. The pom poms that I have on the wreath that I made. Super, 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 super happy. So, anyway. Um, let me show you guys this. So if you guys want to see what this is, if you look at the back, this is, come on, go, go, go dress 376. You know, there must be people out there who are really, really good at this stuff, but it's not like they, they're really good at antiques and I'm not one of them. Like if I saw this, I would be like, Oh, I just don't have that eye. Some people really, really have that eye. It's not me. But I guess this is, um, 376. Dang, Jim knows his collectibles a lot. I would have never, ever guessed that was a serial number. And look at this. Like, if you look at it really closely, you guys can see that the numbers are not matched up. See that? 376. So someone back in the day actually probably punched in each little number. And that's kind of crazy because, like, I'm so used to things being mass-produced that, yeah, you just don't see this kind of quality anymore. You don't see, actually, I don't see it, at least. So it's just, I'm so used to things just kind of being, like, you know, just churn it out. So then we also have this one, which is, this is pretty. Like, even though it's missing that top jewel, it's still very, very pretty. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? So we have this, and then we have that, and underneath, behind there, I don't see anything, but this is a really pretty piece. So nice. I actually went out wearing one of these pieces, um, and you know what the thing is? Like, I got a little phobic because I was like, crap, and what if I lose this stuff? So I don't think, I don't know if I'm really going to walk out with any of these pieces on me, just because I don't want to lose them. And I know it sounds crazy. But um, it's like one of those things, like even this, I don't, I think this is a tree. It kind of, you know what this reminds me? This reminds me of Game of Thrones, you know, the, 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 the tree, the, that, the tree with the tears. You know which one I'm talking about? Like the three-eyed raven tree. It kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Jim, did you ever watch Game of Thrones? Because if you did, you kind of understand where I'm getting at. So, um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of like something on Game of Thrones, like, that, that tree that the three-eyed raven was in, the kind of all-powerful tree. Yeah. Like, you don't see this kind of stuff anymore. Like, even look at, like, the edges of it. See that? See how cool that is? 
That is, you can actually find this kind of stuff on Etsy. There are still crafts people making this sort of stuff, but it's definitely not the stuff you would find in your typical retail store. That would not be considered, um, you know, something that would, uh, something that they could sell tens and tens of thousands of them. You know, you know, like the Macy's or the, the J.C. Penney's, you know, that kind of place. Horseshoe nails. Really? These are horseshoe nails? That's pretty cool. That's even cooler. I had no idea. These are actually nails? Yeah, I didn't learn that before. How do you make something? <laughs> this is what happens when I'm not a, an artisan or a craftsperson. I'm like, how do you make something like this? Wow. That is cool. That is cool. Well, if you want something similar, I'm sure you can find it on Etsy. There's no maker on here. Whoever made this obviously had a lot of pride in their work, and they made some original pieces. So this is really nice to see. Yeah, there is a little mark, but I, I can't... I don't know what that is. Maybe Jim knows what that mark is. See that? It looks like... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Can you guys see it? I don't know what that is, like a backwards E of sorts? Yeah, pretty cool. And then finally we got this one from this little bag. And this is, oh, look at that, it's like a little blackberry. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Aww. And it was made in Australia, either by GGK or that was the person who made it. Look at that. Ah, kind of reminds me of Blackberry. It's it's too svelte to be Oreo, and it's too delicate to be Clinton. You know, I'm so used to seeing like tiny, 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 tiny brooches that it's it's very refreshing to see like hefty pieces that um, that you can tell like whoever made it, they most likely made it like one by one, or if they didn't make it one by one, it was not sold on probably a big scale. At least that's what I think about this stuff. It's cute. Isn't it? Okay, so that is this bag. And which bag? Okay. The big blackberry. Oh, big blackberry went off to sleep somewhere. Okay, so you guys, which bag should I grab next? The middle? This one? This one? Or the black one? You guys pick. Choose, choose the bag adventure. And if you pick the bag that has the creepy pin, then you will get cursed by Jim. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so Armora is willing to take that chance. Let's see if this is uh, the creepy pin. And uh, if anything ha shall happen to you, you need to go to Australia and uh, to get uh, the curse lifted. Okay, it does not look like... Oh, look how cute this is! Oh, uh, look, how, look how cute and romantic that is. Isn't that cute? It's like... It, this kind of this kind of reminds me... Like, look at this guy. Okay, okay, hold up a second. So this is on a leather cord. I want to show you this really quick. So if you look at the details really quickly, you see the guy, he looks like he, he's really eager to kiss her. And look at this lady. She looks like she's frowning. She's like, no, don't kiss me. You see that face? Look at that. Ah, uh, she's, she's a grouchy person. She is grouchy. She's, she's probably like me when I'm like, I gotta, I got something I need to do. Like I need to get, I need to do whatever I'm doing. Yeah, you can even see the Dutch windmill in the back. See that? Or it looks like a Dutch windmill to me. So it's like romantic guy with grouchy female. Notice her face is not in a smile. It's like in a little angry face. Look at that. But he's really into it. See, he's even leaning forward. He looks like he has a pretty relaxed stance. See his little, his, his knees, his hands are behind his back. He's trying to be polite. And this woman, she's like, what? What? I was gonna, I was gonna put away the dishes, or I was gonna put away the eggs. Like what? <laughs> ah. And then you got the three birds behind there. Uh, just, 
It's a romantic guy with grouchy female. That's what it looks like to me. If if only they made the mouth look a little higher, then it looked like she's smiling a bit. See it? So I can see it looks like her eyes. <laughs> she looks like she's hot. <laughs> Uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. So Seal thinks it looks like she's gonna hit him in the crotch. Um, I think it looks like she she um, has something to do. See, her body is facing away from him. See, his body it's facing towards her. So he's giving it all. She he's giving her all his love and attention, and she's like, I gotta go. I gotta go over to the well to her left hand side or to our right hand side. Her. Her head is facing him, but her body's facing this way. See it? Even look, her hands is. She got one foot facing away from him, one foot facing towards him. Yeah, she is, uh, looks like she's three-fourths away, ready to turn away from him. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'm looking a little too into the body language. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a little too sappy if she was facing directly to him with the arms and the legs. But seeing her arms facing away from him and one foot facing away from him and that little grouchy looking face. I have to say this is kind of heartwarming. <laughs> okay, okay, hold up. Hold on, let me... I have Cleo over here so I can open this thing. I can actually um, open the link here. Let's see, Anja, what did Anja say? Oh, I see it. Oh. Wait, she doesn't she doesn't have a rolling pin on her, but yeah, look, the the hat does match up. And yeah. That's a good one. Good detective work. I, I never even knew that hats would really be that much of a differentiating thing. I was looking more at the clogs. You see the, the, the feet, the clogs over there? It turned right away from the crotch punch. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he was a baker, right? Maybe, maybe that's a piece of bread behind him and he just came from the bakery and he's holding the bread behind him. He's like, I got a surprise for you. I got a big lunk of bread behind my hand. And she's like, what? What? What surprise? Grouchy, grouchy. Super cute though, but grouchy. I still think it's a piece of bread behind him, but who knows? Maybe I'm making too much stories about this. Is that a bread stick in your pocket? Um, I don't know if he has a breadstick in his pocket, but it definitely looks like he has some kind of loaf of bread on his body, um, behind his arms. At least to me, it kind of looks like he has one of those, like, little, um, what's my cause it? The little scarves and then the baker's hat or something like that. Yeah. It has a story behind it. And in case you guys wanted to know who made it, this was hand painted by P.E. Nixon. I really wonder how old P.E. Nixon is. Is is this person still alive? That's one of the things that, um, well, that's one of the things about artwork or pieces of jewelry. It's, you know, the people who make this kind of stuff, even if they pass away, there's, those are still little mementos of what they produced during their lifetime. And it, it's like, they're really kind of like immortal, right? As long as their pieces survive, it's, people always will remember them. Like, I don't know who this person is, but I know that this person painted this and made this grouchy little Dutch woman with this very romantic Dutch man with a possible baguette behind him. We will see. Okay. So let's move on. Oh, goodness. So this is another... Whoops. This is another blue beaded necklace. I think I had one um, in the other bag. And it's like that, it's like a, what color would I describe this as? It's kind of like a robin's egg blue, but a little darker than that. See that? There's Paola Nixon. <laughs> I doubt she made. You know what? I, when I thought Pamela Nixon, I laughed because I thought of Pamela Anderson. Pamela. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? So as long as your cinnamon rolls tasted good, doesn't matter how they look like because they all go in the right place. Okay, you guys. So you guys are picking the bags. Which one should I pick? Left, middle, or right?
The green. Okay, okay, we got the green picked up. So I'm going to put away some of this stuff so I can make some space. Team green. Okay, so Jim's going to pick the, the, the last one. Because afterwards, well, there's really no choice between two, right? Okay, I yeah, that's um seafoam green, I think. So let's move this. And let's move this side. I'm really happy that you guys could see this with me. I think sometimes, you know, it's very rare that people come across this kind of stuff unless they're actively looking for it or if they're in a thrift store. And even a thrift store, like I notice they don't have this kind of stuff. A lot of the times, like for brooches, when I see things, it's, it's kind of, um, it, it looks like they only have the stuff from like the 1980s, that's about it. If you guys get my drift, like it's the stuff that looked like it was, it was made from a mass retailer. It's not any like special unique pieces. So let's see what is over here. Hold up, hold up. So. Okay, so I need you guys to enlighten me on this. And oh wait, no, 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 never mind. I guess this kind of, I think, is this right? Like how I'm putting it? It's like you have this, you hook this up to your shirt and then you have, you hook both of these like behind your shirt. Is that how it goes? And then that way it kind of looks like that. I'm imagining that's how it looks like. I've never seen this kind of style in my life. So that's why I'm a little confused. Yeah, so I think it is. Hmm. Wait a second. Yeah, there's only two of them. So if you look at this, look at this. So it has one from this side and one from this side. So if you were to put it, oop, I just poked myself. If you were to put it on your shirt you would hook it like this is that how you hook it like sideways like this or you hang it downwards I, I don't know like this and then you put these two bobby pins underneath I don't know how to figure this out Yeah, because this one is hooked into over here. So it looks like it kind of hooks this way. See this? Because it looks like it has a little... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a little hook here. So I'm assuming this goes over here. So first you put this on a shirt, and then afterwards you hook it right here. And then you get these two little safety pins here, and you hook it underneath your shirt. Is that how it goes? Or is there something that I'm missing out? The chains are for pulling out the fixing needles. Ah, oh. goodness. Oh, it won't, it pins off. Okay, so I guess you just hook it on this side then. Man, they weren't really, they were really not kidding about security for these brooches. Jim, do you know who this is by any chance? Who this person is? Besides, I know there was a talk about it being Steve. Okay, let's see this guy over here. We're gonna keep this guy over here. Maybe someone will know his name. <laughs> Side stage. <laughs> Child. Okay. Louis the 14th, Louis the 14th, okay. Okay, let's see, let's see how this guy looks. Oh, kinda, kinda, yeah. But you know what? It kind of, it kind of 
reminds me of like, you know who also reminds me of? Like, maybe it's the hair, or maybe I'm showing my age, but it kind of reminds me of Weird Al Yelkovic. You know who I'm talking about? Like, doesn't that kind of remind you of the hair? Kind of? Like, his, his, his relative or something? Weird Al has really amazing hair. Like, I don't know how anybody can get curls that consistently curled throughout the years. And it's always, like, kind of like the same kind of curls. <laughs> <laughs> so until we find out this person's identity, we've got Steve, we got um, Louis the the Fourteenth, and possibly Weird Al. But I know it's not Weird Al. <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. I'm just playing. Okay, so let's go back to this uh, uh, Steve Jerkins. <laughs> let's go back to the the seriousness, which is this unboxing, and we got. Let's show it over here. We got a chain. Oh! It is a hearty looking... I, I don't know how to describe this, but it looks like a hearty looking chain. Like, look at that clasp. Like, I really, really see clasp like this. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, this is like a very hefty looking chain. Hefty in a good way. It's not like bulky or anything, but it just looks... Hefty and delicate at the same time. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, wait. Hold up. I have a system, Erica. Let's follow that. And then we got... Oh! Oh, jeez. We got a girl looking at me. Um, yeah, just uh, a little unnerving because this one's looking directly at me. Maybe, maybe this is the... Focus. Yeah, this is, um... This looks like, uh, something a little creepy over here. I don't know if this is the creepy one, but it's, it's kind of creepy because it's like the face. If you put this on your shirt, it's like the face is looking directly at you. So when you look at a person, you see two faces. One is this, and then the other one is, um, your face. <laughs> there's a creepier one. <laughs> oh, there's a creepier one. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, you know what? He, uh, he, he, um, he tricked me because it's like, I looked through that, I got all psyched out, and then I was like, oh, look, it's a very innocent looking, look at that. Oh, it's an innocent looking pin. And it's hand painted too. You can tell because you can see all the brush strokes. Look at that. That is a pretty pin. That is a very pretty pin. And it's light too. I think it's made out of wood. It's very light. And then we got this one over here. And I don't know what it is, but that's not important because look at, look at, look at how this is. Like, ooh. That is a really ni nice, rich, deep green. Okay, and then we got Phantom of the Opera. Oh, look at that. And then we got Aladdin. Look at that. I'm going to make a wish. Uh, what should my wish be, you guys? Let's make a wish on this little genie. Actually, you know what? While I, while I rub this genie lamp, you guys make your own wish, okay? I'll rub it for three seconds and whatever you guys want to make a wish. Hopefully by the end of the time that I rub this lamp, your wish will come true. Hopefully soon. Okay, I hope you guys made all your wish. I never made a wish. <laughs> I didn't have anything on my mind because I was too focused on that, thinking about that creepy pin. Which is bad because maybe if I put it out in the universe, they're going to say, Oh, Erica wishes to see that creepy pin. But look at that! Look at that! It's like a little Aladdin. It's like a little Aladdin, um... Genie lamp. Kind of makes me wonder. Was this together? Was it intentional? Make a wish. I've never seen anything like that before. And then we got a silver chain again. 
you know what always amazes me sometimes when I see silver chains or gold chains, like how different a chain can look just based on the chain itself. So like this one is thicker, but you can see it's a little rounder, so it looks a lot different than this one. I know it's, it sounds pretty silly for me to say it that way, but it's true. Like whenever I see chains, I'm always like, oh, wow, the chain looks different. See, like this chain looks different too. And this is a golden color chain. See? So we have three chains and one creepy. Oh, tie clip. Thank you, KJ. Yeah, that's what it probably is. It's probably a tie clip. You know, I, I don't really see people wear tie clips anymore. Do I see people wear tie clips? Not really. Okay, so let's put these two pins over here. And I think that... Okay, I'm going to start clearing this out over here. That way we can have more space. Tie clip. Oh, look at this. If you look at the back, it says, oh, I can't read it. Oh, my vision is terrible. My vision says, oh, can't read it. Come on, focus. Do you guys, can you read that? Oh, no problem, Kelly. Can you guys read that? I can't read it very well. I, I need a magnifying glass for that. Look at this. So this was... Look at this. So this is the Phantom of the Opera one. In the back, it actually says the playbill. And it says Australia. And you can see the date on it, which is 1986. Wow. This thing is two years older than me. It's a really great souvenir that they have the, the, the country, Australia, and they also have the year. I think that's a really nice touch. So I saw um, Phantom of the Opera with Lewis uh, last year. And it was great. It was really great. Uh, we also, uh, one of his, uh, one of the people in the cast, oh, I forgot his, I forgot what character he played. Um, but he invited us to uh, see, to see the show. And then we also went backstage and oh my goodness, you guys, like the backstage is absolutely incredible like gosh they have so much like costumes they have like the wigs it's just so many wigs you can see that a lot of the costumes when i was looking at it there was just so much detailing and i remember hearing something like one of maybe i'm remembering it wrong but like the main characters i forgot her name the main character dress i think was like over twenty thousand dollars i want to say it was thirty thousand dollars but i was looking at it i was like wow Wow. And between you and me, um, I may or may not have touched that dress really quickly. And I was like, oh, wow. Probably the most expensive dress I'll ever touch in my... Oh, wait, I just admitted it. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. But, but, um, yeah. Uh, that was really, really one of the, the, the best, like, backstage tours ever that I've ever seen. And hydraulics of that place is just incredible um so if you guys haven't seen phantom of the opera i highly 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 recommend checking it out and yeah it's like the the the, the way the things are made it's it's uh, the um chandelier how it rocks back and forth and the props it's like wow wow yeah um the play is older than me. Yeah, it's um, it's been running for a long time. Okay, so let's go. Last one. The last one you got to choose. Jim, which one should I pick? Left or right first? The pink one, right. Okay. So this is the second to last one. Let's see if the creepy. Oh my goodness! Look at this. I put the, I put the two pins away. 
Wait, wait, we can't put it away. We gotta show these things off. So we will have the judge for for if the creepy one is really the creepiest one. Because per gym, there is a pin that is creepier than these two. And I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh! What the? What the hell is this? I think I found it! <laughs> oh. um, if this is not the creepiest one, I, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna say that I've never seen a creepier looking. This is actually a bird's, uh, tape, tail on. Oh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, uh, this is, this is an actual bird's claw. Wow, um. Yeah, that that is that is pretty creepy. Uh, that is that is pretty creepy. Especially, can you imagine if you wear this and you wear this together? It's kind of yeah, like on this on one side of your 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 shirt and then this on the other side, and it's like kind of creepy, kind of creepy. Um, especially if it goes like this, it's kind of creepy too. And yeah, because again, if you go like this, it kind of looks like birds giving you the finger. You know, you're just telling. Giving the finger to everybody. So, yeah, flipping the bird. Yes, yeah, all it needs is a spinner over here, and then it will be uh, flipping the bird. So I'm going to flip you the bird over here. <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, look at the way this, this, this claw is put on here. Like, do you see that? They actually have, like, a little ring for it. So I imagine, like, some person, like, taxidermied this. And, like, you, you cannot buy this kind of thing at, like, a craft store. This has to be some kind of, I don't want to say custom made, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, they must have known exactly what they were going to put on here. Because I can't imagine anything else. And I, I don't want to really break the bird's claw. I know it made it all the way from Australia, but still. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at the maker's name. Mitzpa. M-I-S-P-A-R. Or M I S P A H. You guys can Etsy that person if you want. M I Z P A H. Mitzvah. So, yeah, uh, this is something that would definitely not end up at uh, Macy's holiday catalog for sure. Uh, I, yeah, I, I kind of wonder what bird had this claw in. Yeah, I feel bad because I only have one claw. I mean, it's like I hope the other claw is still around. Like if it was a if it was a set, you could have the left and the right and two different colors. Now I'm just I'm just playing with you guys. A vulture. Oh, you guys are a lot more aware of bird claws than I do. But this is kind of small, you know. I think this is about. This has to be a very tiny vulture, if that was the case. So it looks like they encased it over here. They have the ring here, and then they have the joint over here. And you can see the way it's angled. It's just very fluid. It's not like they made a straight line. They have it actually at an arch. So, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I think it got a what? What the hell is this for me? Because I looked at it, I was like, is that a? What is that? So you guys get to see the 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 collection of things that will stare at you. <laughs> Oh, see, this one is relatively tame. Look at this. You got the, you got some gemstones over here. It seems like these two have shown the signs of aging. But other than that, I don't know, maybe you could polish it out? Yeah, I think you can easily polish this out. Like, look at that. You don't find this kind of stuff ever, ever again. Um, I, I wouldn't find this kind of stuff, at least maybe not on Etsy. You know, it saddens me. That when I think about, like, back in the day, they had so much individual unique pieces. And I kind of think, like, maybe they had more people doing this kind of stuff. And nowadays, it's a lot of the stuff just gets outsourced out. And it's all about quantity, 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 cheaper price for a lot of consumers. Uh, you won't really find people with these kind of pieces anymore. Um, I, like I said, I wouldn't even know where to buy these kind of pieces. If I went into a shopping mall, like, where would I buy this stuff? I would have to go to an antique store, right? An antique store. But there would be nothing new that I can think of that I could find something like this. So you got a nice little flower over here. Like, look at the lines. 
I think you call it striations, but I'm not too sure. Or like, even when you look at this, uh, this was, I think it's made in, I don't know. I'm inclined to say, I can't read the writing, but look. Yeah, antique jeweler, but I mean, back in the day, do you guys, okay, I know some of you are older than I am. So where would you find this kind of stuff um, brand new? W would there be like individual little kiosk stores that you could buy this stuff from? Like, do you guys know? Because I'm genuinely curious when I see stuff from, let's say, the 50s or um, the 70s, it's, you see pieces that it just looks so unique. I, I I just kind of question, like, where would people get that kind of stuff? Because over here, like, nowadays, you will never be able to find pieces like that. Ah, Native American. Yeah. Yeah, now it's all about this minimalistic stuff. Which isn't bad. You know, min minimalistic jewelry is not bad. It's just some of this stuff I kind of think to myself... Ah, Vector's way makes their hands into the... Oh, that's Scottish. Oh. Like, look look at the leaf on here. See how delicate that looks? See that? It's so delicate looking. It's not flat. It's not like they just whipped out a piece of metal and just stuck it on there. It actually has, dare I say, flow. See that? It has flow to it. Ah, crafts, galleries and craft shows. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, so what is this, you guys? I want to say it's for a jacket, but I'm really not too sure. So it looks like it's a clamp of some sort. I want to say it goes by your lapel, and then it, it kind of closes it over there. So, like, if this is your 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 collar or something, it goes like that. But what what is this used for? Do you guys know? Look at that, it has an actual spring over here. See, these are so much, this is like so much, Um, I don't know if it's, I think like this is probably less secure than one of these pin back ones, but they definitely feel easier to use. I just kind of worried though, something like this slipping out. Oh. And then we got Excalibur here for lack of better word. And um, Oh, it's from Scotland. It looks like it's from Scotland. Is that Excalibur? Cape clasp. Yeah, cape clasp. I think it would go maybe for like a, like a fur coat. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Look at that. It's a pretty, it's a pretty hefty size too. See that? A little bird. Oh, it's a little bird. Can you guys, is my stream hanging right now, you guys? Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. 